Witcher's contact in Velen was to be Hendrik, the Emperor's spy. Hendrik was operating incognito in that war-ravaged land. His mission, to gather intelligence about Ciri. Yet Geralt arrived too late. The wild hunt had reached Hendrik first. The Witcher learned nothing from the spy's corpse, but the wraiths had failed to find his notes. Geralt read them and knew that Ciri had been a guest of the Bloody Baron, a local warlord, and that she'd quarreled with a witch. Damn, you're ugly. Standing Jew, I challenge you! Boots a bit big, maybe? Careful not to trip. Halt, I say! I am Ronvid of the Small Marsh, bound by a sacred oath. Oh, that's rough. My sympathies. To honor made Bilbury, fairest of all maids I know, by dueling a hundred knights to the death. Now, draw your sword post haste. But I have 99 left after you. At your service. Let's get this over with. Not good. No, I will. Had enough? Yes, look stood with you. But, but the next time we meet. Challenge me again. Raise your hand, draw your sword, look at me the wrong way, and I'll kill you. You so sure of that? Yes. We shall see. Spot a cider for you? Or a bit of dry curd? Me lad is not exactly burst him, but what I got sure to please. Like to take a look.
Farewell. Slow now. Remember me? Stable hand pulled you out of the fire. We'll never forget that. Here. I'm grateful. Guardian corps on me. A word, please. What is it? That night, when the Baron ordered everyone to lock their doors, stay inside. What did you and the Baron do? Gotta ask the Baron about that. Speaking of which, know where he is. Garden. Spends a lot of time sitting there of late. Drunk? No. Don't drink, don't eat. Just sit. There you are. See the hollyhock there? The violet blooms. Brought the plants here from Nazaire. Anna had read some story. Insisted on having them. Spent hours tending to them, trimming, pruning. She was so content at that. And them, the frilly ones, are called birds of paradise in Zeracania. But Tamara called them dragons of paradise. She adored them. Damn shame I'll never learn which blooms would please Daya most. Though it's good to know her spirit's free. Got some information about your family. You've learned something? Well, let's go inside. It's a bit chilly out. Any news for me? Your daughter's in Oxenford. What the blazes? Is she all right? In good health? Safe? Why haven't you brought her back? Never offered to do that. How do you know she's safe? You see her at least? No, but I talked to the man who helped her escape and then took her in. Tamara is safe and sound. From what I gathered, she has no desire to see you again, no intention to return. I shan't trust some peasant dolt. I shan't trust whoever it is helped her. I need to know for certain she's safe. Go to her. You must be sure. See her yourself. I shan't believe anyone else. That much I can do. I'm grateful. Take this, call it enticement, and this might prove useful. What is it? A letter of safe conduct. 
Ever since the Redinians took hold of the Pontar Delta, they made it damned hard to get to Novigrad without one. Very well. You were to find them both. What have Anna learned anything? Nothing yet, but I'm on her trail. Well, what are you waiting for? For you to tell me about Ciri, like we agreed. <sighs> Fine. A word once given. When Ciri was on the mend, we took her out on a hunt. Thought a bit of galloping would warm up her limbs, gone stiff from so much bed rest. That lass of yours. Pure luck in the flesh. To hunt down a wild boar that size. Why, worthy of one of King Faltest's feasts, were he still among the living? Sere, come! Our haunt should be yours as I see it. Oh, you're doing well, lass. Not bad. Not bad at all. But who goes boar hunting with a sword? No bow at hand, no spear. My sword was all I had. <laughs> well, you brandished it beautifully. Where'd they teach you that, anyway? At Care Morhen. Witcher school there, I. But they only took lads, as I recall. They made an exception for me. Right. Me to say you're a she-witcher. Not entirely. The mutations, I was never subjected to them. But everything else I know, I learned from the witches there. Know any of them potions? Not so much. A bit. Because, you see, at times I get this pinching back here. Shut it, Egrin. Nobody cares about your backside. A woman could swing a sword. I've knowed one. But never seen a lady mount anything but a cock proper. All tipsy on horseback. Nothing strange on account they bloody mount them sideways. Perhaps you'd care to wager? Think you can outrun me on an horse? <laughs> Naturally. What's the stake? Black Mare. The one in the stable. Oh, that won't do at all. What happened? You get the jitters? No. <laughs> so why not? The horse is mine. To race the Baron himself. I'd consider it an honor. <laughs> oh, that'd be a sight to behold. Would it ever? Done. But if I win, I take your sword. Agreed. I'd not drink any more this night. You'll want your head about you. And we start at daybreak. Dawns. Ready? As ever, first one to the tower. Man chop! <laughs> Come on, Siri, don't you embarrass us! Your sword is mine! That'll be the day! Your wind, not woman. Worthy of the best horse. The mare is yours. Thank you. What? Another chance to win. She screamed like a mad woman. In an instant, all had forgotten the wager. 
Every man ran to save his skin, even worried to break his neck. And they make it? Some, aye. Others were not so fortunate. But what happened then? I must say, Witcher, seen a lot, but nothing like this. Never. Uh-oh. I know that look. You're a fast learner. You'll know the rest once you find my wife. Working on it. And making piss-poor progress. They split up. Hadn't considered that possibility before. But don't worry. I'll find Anna too. So long. Wait, Witcher! When you find my daughter, will you give her this? A ragdoll. Uh -huh. Probably so easy because I'm not. Look to right, oil lads. Fancy an outing to find that she beats. Got eyes like a cat. You catch mice too. You, white one, think your two swords could take on forty? <laughs> what did I do to deserve your company? You! What's going on here? Why isn't anyone putting that out? We want it to burn. Got it? Here, Sarf, or we'll fry you along with that fucking elf! There's a third way out of this situation. Let's dance.
What was this about? Why'd they want to burn you alive? They came to rob me. I refuse to betray where I keep my valuables, so they brought in a cart full of firewood, barred me inside, and set fire to the thing! Probably counting on you being swayed. Though I doubt they would have let you live even if you'd talked. I've yet to thank you for your aid, Vatgern. My coin lies concealed in a hollowed-out stump behind the house. Take what you wish. It's dangerous to possess too much in these times. Thank you. Farewell. Come on, Roach. Spreads disease, defeatism, and desertion. <coughs> My fortune traitors we call. Got a pass? Cool. <laughs> we don't need a pass from Novigrad. Eight generations no more. The halt! No passage. Case of the plague surface in the city or something? The plague? Uh, no. We're to not let folk in the city. It's an order, so I don't, unless someone's got a pass. This what you mean? Let me look at that. Mm -hmm. uh, missing a seal, the red one. Impossible. Department of Civil Defense forgot again. They're really off their heads these days. That happens, so be it. You may come through. Come through. I'm looking for Tamara, the Bloody Baron's daughter. Your brother said I'd find her here. Voitek sent you, sir. How else would I know she was here? Wait a moment. I'll fetch her straight away.
you're looking for me. And who might you be? My father sent you. Yeah, to see if you're still alive and well. I'm Geralt of Rivia. I'm quite alive and extraordinarily well, Geralt of Rivia. Better than I've ever been in this rotten life of mine. And now that you've seen me, I bid you farewell. Wait. We've nothing more to talk about. Got every right to be angry at your father, but he's worried about you. I have a right. Thank you kindly. So good to have the approval of his hired thug. And my father worries only about what to get soused on next. He's no saint, that's clear. But he's got the whole province on its feet looking for you. Finding you and your mother? Seems to me there's nothing more important to him now. I know evil men. He's not one of them. Shame he never showed such concern before. Especially for my mother. He made a mistake and knows that. I'm not defending him, just saying that maybe he's come to realize what he's done, and what you mean to him. Oh, wonderful. I'll bear that in mind. Did you really come all the way here just to tell me that? I don't mean to pry, but I know your mother had a miscarriage. His doing? He shoved her, she fell, that's how it started. We were alone, no one to help, blood everywhere. Worst night of my life. Sorry, must have been hard for you both. Mum was in shock, she was raving that it was better this way, that she never wanted the child. She must have had a fever, she was losing blood the whole time. She didn't want the child? Said she'd sooner cut open her gut than bear another child from his seed. Wojtek claims your mother had strange marks on her hands, and that a monster dragged her into the woods. That true? We were riding towards the river. Suddenly, Mum cried out, bent over, almost fell off her horse. I rode up to her and saw something strange. Her hands were on fire. And then that creature leapt from the woods. I don't know what it was, but it roared so fierce my nose bled. I saw it topple trees. I've never been so scared in my life. And that... that thing grabbed my mum and disappeared into the woods. I wanted to turn back, go after them, but the horses panicked. Now I don't even know if she's alive. What will you do now? Find my mum. You realize that might not be that easy. Don't worry, I'm not daft enough to believe I can do it alone. I've got some new friends now. Powerful friends. They'll help me. Who are these friends, if it's not a secret? No secret. Heard of the Church of the Eternal Fire? A priest helped me contact the Redanian witch hunters. Righteous, brave men. They'll help me. Hence the candlesticks in your room. So you believe in the Eternal Fire? Once the heat of the fire has set your heart aflame, it gives you strength and leads you down the path of truth for the rest of your life. I hope it'll bless you with its warmth one day. Thanks. Thing is, fire's tricky. It's easy to get burned. What about your father? Who? Oh, him. I don't care. I won't go back to him. That bit of my life? Forgotten it already. Well, well. <laughs> a witcher. Never thought the Baron would stoop to hiring a monster slayer. Though I hear you're good at tracking things down. Glad you know who I am. Haven't introduced yourself, though. Graden, witch hunter in the service of His Royal Majesty Radovid of Redania. I'm certain you've heard of us. Rings a bell. If the Bloody Baron sent you to fetch his daughter, you'd best face it. You will fail in your task. I appreciate your concern, but I don't need it. As for Tamara, she can make her own decisions. Hmm. <coughs> Noble of you. A killer for hire abandoning his bounty for the good of another. The Hunters and the Church of the Eternal Fire thank you. So the Baron hired a Witcher to find his daughter. Interesting. Where are you gonna take her? Tamara must rest. She's had a harrowing experience. When the warmth of the Eternal Fire has restored her strength, we shall see about finding her mother. Before you go, your father asked me to give you this. Clara? 
Father told you to give me Clara. Funny how he thought to buy me back with a memory. Tell him one gesture could never make up for a ruined childhood. So long, Witcher. In spite of all, I'm... Well, I'm grateful you gave me a choice. Didn't force me to go back to the tyrant. Hope you know what you're getting yourself into. So long, and good luck. Just that. Eternal fire walk with you. What you what do you work, my man's got, eh? Not half bad. Brought him a bucket of peanuts yesterday. Oh, Ruthless, move it! What was that about? That's my breath. I think a smudge of a Barren schmarren. I need a good plan. I think I got scabies. I'm listening. What do you come to me with? Gave Tamara your gift. How'd she react? Probably not like you'd have wanted. She threw the doll away. Threw it away? Oh, gods, I hoped, despite all. Oh. Oh. But what of Anna? Still don't know anything specific, but I'm on her trail. Well, will you stand there like a knob? Find her! So long. I do to deserve your pain. Pam 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 Pam
Don't rust your blades. Even the dogs will fly in misfortune. Wailing and healing, my arse is so. Even the gods went for our misfortune. Come on. What do you want? Rejoice, for even a creature as depraved and base in nature as you can serve the glory of the eternal fire. Someone must see to the corpses on the battlefield. Necrophages defile those not already rotting in mass graves. This is not right. That's to be my good deed for the day. A handsomely profitable one, I might add. I know your kind don't work for free. All right, I'll take care of it. This will count amongst your merits. 
the more good one works in life, the more hallowed things are. Yes, splendid. Here are the holy oils. Dash generously and set alight, understood? I wish it to flare up to the sky, for the glory of the eternal fire and all that. Once I've incinerated the bodies, where will I find you? I shall be near the bridge to Novigrad. Show me what you got. If it ain't that fucking priest, it's corpse eaters. I'm done with this damn town. A priest? We'd agreed to meet as usual, just a larger delivery. Good customer, I thought. Then they whipped out blades. We still talking about a priest of the eternal fire? I'd say so. Beat stained pricks can't be trusted. This one had ordered premium grade fist tech from me three times, 
everything perfect. But the fourth is man came at us with knives, sought to knock us out of trade. Shoved me in that ditch with the corpses. Must have thought the ghouls would take care of the rest. And to make sure, he hired a witcher to burn the bodies, destroy any evidence. A witcher? Meaning you? So what now? Nothing. Didn't pay me to burn the living. Oh, thank the gods it's true what they say. Though mutants, you live by a code. Oh, thank you, witcher. Now for a shot of Igni. Go, go. Take it easy. That's it, Roach. Well, Witcher, have you completed your task? So, took care of the graves. Interesting, actually. One of the corpses proved to be quite, well, alive. And pretty talkative. What do you mean? Fistech dealer. One of them survived. Had an awfully interesting story to tell. Hmm. Intriguing. I would purchase this story from you, for all time, exclusively. Deal. Take this and get out of my sight.
Not so fast, Roach. Chat, no one me. My head's a twirling with a roots are gonna rot my gut. Not from Velen. I get it right? You did. So, where are you from? Originally, Rivia. Rivia? Blimey, that's a ways. A witch lives around here somewhere. You know her? I do. From afar, that one, like yourself. But she listens, understands. Helpful. No like the old witch. That one where deaf is a stump and mean to boot. Know where I can find her? Go to the pond. Wild swans swam there once. Trail starts there. Follow it to a great stone, drop where it lies by a devil that a farmer tricked into thinking it was a giant egg. Then go right into the woods. You'll pass a destitute cart, and near it find the witch's hut. Thanks. Been a big help. from the barn floor. Pus streams from her snout. Do I look like a dairy maid to you? No, miss, but you know things. Tis our last cow. None other left in the village. Rest died of hunger. Or soldiers let him off. Oh, we're as good as dead without her. I shall give you herbs. Mix them with water drawn from the spring at midnight, then make the cow drink them. But first, you must clean out your barn, thoroughly. Is that clear? Thank you, miss. 
A thousand thanks. Enough. I've had my fill for the day. Go home. She's in a bad mood. We'd best come back on the morrow. Watch what you say. She's quick to hire. Have to take revenge. Anyone home? Ordinary ointment. Nothing special. Now, where's she run off to? A pentagram in chalk. Powerful aura. Must be some artifact or... This is where she disappeared to. Well, well. Nice. I was wondering how long it would take you, Geralt. I'm upstairs. Don't be shy. Greetings, Witcher. Where? Hope you didn't come to court. No. To talk. Turn around and wait. Kira met deep in the heart of Velen. Thought you hated the countryside. I can assure you I do. Now more than ever. Heard a witch lived out here. Never would have guessed it was King Foltest's former advisor. I'm so pleased the world's still able to astound you, Geralt. I actually envy you that sense of wonder. Common in children, knights errant, and morons. Hmm, someone's grown irritable. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I believe I greeted you with a pleasant view. Now tell me what brings you here. I'm looking for a certain young woman. Oh really? Who? I'm looking for Siri. That Siri. And no one can know, understand? Cyrilla is here. The girl once sought by the Lodge of Sorceresses, and practically every ruler on the continent has landed here in Velen, and I know nothing of it. What is she doing here? Indications are she's hiding from someone. I heard she quarreled with a witch, but if you don't know anything... Sure you haven't seen her? I'm certain I haven't. But recently someone asked me about an ashen-haired woman. He claimed she would stand out from the peasant crowd. Who was it? <laughs> Not so fast, Geralt. No humble plea. No offering for the witch. What's your rate these days? A couple dozen eggs? Three hens, maybe? My rate rises with every word you speak. I'm not sure you can afford the information anymore. Hmm. You're pricklier than I remembered. Isn't living in nature's lap supposed to be cleansing? Calming? Nature stinks. Oh, sod it. Don't give me that look. I know it's Siri we're talking about. It was an elf, this individual who asked about Cyrilla. No flea-bitten Scoia'tael slob either, but an elven mage. He say what his name was? He didn't. And he wore a mask. Very secretive all around, but I liked him. He was intelligent and composed. He say what he wanted with Siri? Only that they were to meet in Velen. He wished to know if she'd arrived before he did. He leave any message for her? No, but he asked that were I to meet her, I should lead her to him. So you know where to find him? Yes, he said he found a hideout in some elven ruins near the village of Midcops. I'll go there with you. Why? 
Think I'll have trouble finding this place? I've unfinished business with this elf. He promised me something, but he never delivered it. Besides, I know you think as I do, that she might be there. And I'd like to see Cyrilla too. Let's go then. Yes, let's. This is the place. Been here before? No. I was hoping the elf would return as he'd promised or else his wife would appear. At any rate, I've no idea what to expect from this place. Well, let's find out. Gvela Glan. The Wild Hunt. What? Phantom Riders? That means... I, I thought they didn't exist. Feast your eyes on the non-existent then. Got a navigator with them. Uh, what? Can you teleport us to the other side? I'd rather teleport us home. Do you really mean to follow them? Teleport. Hurry up. Not sure I like any of this. Say anything. 
So what happened to you? There's something here. Something that distorts teleportation. I've no idea how they managed to get to the other side problem-free. Wild Hunt's teleportation magic is different. Got specially trained mages for that. Navigators, they call them. They can have three helmsmen and a parrot for all I care. I'll not risk that again. Let's go. Wild Hunt got a good head start on us, but we still stand a chance. Have you gone completely mad? We must leave here at once. Let's go. We might still reach the Elven Mage before they do. But what does the Hunt want from him? If that Elf has information about Ciri, or if she tried to find him, contact him even, and they sensed her... Very well, let's move on. Perhaps we'll come across some clue, some trace left by this Elf. There's no guarantee the Wild Hunt is going the right way. Gavella Glan! Well... That's him! That's the elf! What was that? An illusion? No. A morphotic projection. Message was definitely for Ciri. Daughter of the Gull. Laura Doran's heir. Indeed. It is what the elves would title Ciri. But what was the bit about the sign of her sword? A riddle? Yeah, not a hard one, though. Not if you know Ciri named her sword Tzileo. Swallow. Come now. Who aside from you would know that? Might have been the point. Your elven mage secured the passage, hid it, so that only Ciri could find it. He failed to foresee that someone like you would show up. Nevertheless, I think he was expecting uninvited guests. Made some preparations. Let's hope the Wild Hunt ran into some obstacles. Well then, let's go. Do you think following the Swallows will suffice? We'll see. Elven port. Must have been how they got here by sea. I wonder how long ago that was. Careful, that oily yellow vapor. It's toxic. I hardly need construction from you. I recognized the Vulpine Morel immediately. Desinair told me that soon after he left to cast Igni, he took it out and touched these mushrooms. Terrible idea. What happened? Well, he saw us. The wounds he off the quick the right way. <laughs> That other pillar with the projection. Siren, me for the sol eser. Siren, me for the sol eser. Ainsila Kelpi. Kelpi? Does he mean that sea monster? No, that's what Siri named her mare. Horse could apparently gallop like a demon. Name for a horse. So, should we look for it? Gavella Glan.
Kelpie. Another horse. Almost exactly like the last one. Let's see what this does. Geralt, I don't know what you did, but it worked. Come back here. Look, they're opening. Let's go. Now I know what to... Well, coming. So, make sure and tell me beforehand next time. My intuition's a fine instrument, Witcher. Don't underestimate it. I've some very good feelings about you, for instance. In several domains. Once you finally find Siri, what will you do? Any plans? She wants. Imagined it. How it will transpire. What will she say? What will she look like? No. I'm sorry for getting ahead of myself. Teleport over there. We must activate it. Another golem's about to surprise us. Look, we've managed to cross the bridge. This is where we saw the wild hunt. Great. They're way ahead of us. Come on. Wild hunt. Definitely. They destroyed the major sentries. They didn't come here for a friendly chat with the elf. Mean no. 
Who's ever thought, thought they would attack? attack.
Kira. What's wrong? It'll pass. That took a great deal of power. Just don't faint on me. <laughs> now, in your firm embrace, not in your life. <laughs> mm. Love to be able to say we could stay here a while and rest. I know. I know. We must go on. Uh, they blocked the passage. Maybe I can try. Leave it to me. Them. Thanks for your help. Pretty tough slog. Uh, good thing I came with you. You'd never have managed without me, would you? Come now, admit it. Yeah. He awaits never. Us. Looks like the elves' laboratory. 
Lorena Luna. All right, let's watch this message. Shirel, this place is no longer safe. Do not tarry here long. Trust no one. And above all, beware the witches of Crookback Bog. Try to reach the place where last we were together. Where last we were together, not much to go on. Damn it. Perhaps it's best he didn't leave a clearer message. The Wild Hunt broke in here, surely they saw the projection. They searched everything. And if they had more time, they'd probably have torn the place to the ground. But that doesn't change the fact that we haven't learned anything. Not about the Elf, not about Ciri. Well, we know they were well acquainted, and traveling together. The Witches of Crookback Swamp. Crookback Bog. Kira, if you're hiding something... But... I didn't say... You know these witches? I've never met them, but I've read of them. In an old manuscript I found in one of the huts in the village. It mentions the village witches venturing into Crookback Bog at times, to liaise between the villagers and the crones, the ladies of the wood. The crones appear to be intolerant of outsiders, but they help the local folk. Apparently, they stop the spread of the plague in Vellum. Hmm. What's your take on this? I'd love to shrug it off as the nattering of so many old women, yet... Throughout my first fortnight in Velen, I had horrible nightmares. Something was calling me out into the swamps. One night, I decided to enter the dream consciously. Render it lucid. I confronted the thing directly. It broke contact at once. Peaceful nights ever since. How do I find them? The swamps are vast, dangerous, but they say the crones mark the way for peasants who wish to visit them. The manuscript mentions a chapel in Crookback Bog, and from that chapel one must follow a trail of treats. Treats? Of course. They didn't read you bedtime stories at Care Morhen. All normal folk know that witches live in gingerbread houses poised atop chicken legs. I'll have to see that to believe it. Take the tome and read it. I... I truly do believe you'll find your Sorilla. All right then. As a start, let's look for a way out of here. Good idea. Why do we even come? What's this? The potion I gave him. Seems he saw a use for it. Drank it. Strange. My medallion's trembling, but there's nothing here. What's with this wall? It's an illusion. I sensed it as well. I expected we might run into such things, so I bought this. Meaning what? The Eye of Nahalani. It dispels illusions. It's easy enough to build, so you're welcome to this one. It's bound to come in handy. And each time it does, you will think of me. Huh. Thanks. Let's see where the passage leads. Do you feel that? A flow of fresh air from the left must be an exit that way. Good. Let's get out of here. Wait, there's still the magic lamp. The magic what now? Lamp. The elf promised it to me in exchange for my help. And since his return here seems doubtful, I must retrieve it myself. If I can find it, that is. Will you help? Yeah, I'll help. Splendid. Come then. 
Gvela Glan. Looks like another damned riddle to me. Inscription here. Show me! Can you translate the inscription? I can decipher maybe a third, but that third doesn't make much sense. Give me a minute. I was never any good at the high variant of the Elder Speech. Hmm. Alright. This might seem a bit literal. I'm afraid I can't replicate its sophisticated internal rhymes. Just translate it to make sense. Four guardians, four flames, standing proud in a line. The first to light his fire dared not march on the end. The second, by the first, played a woeful lament. The third kept close to his faithful beast. The fourth marched not beside the first, yet, like the second, played a tune. And thus they stood o'er their queen, who slept beneath flickering stars. Hmm. <laughs> Sounds like a riddle, all right. All right. Let's see if we can solve this. again four guardians four flames standing proud in a line the first to light his fire dared not march on the end the second beside the first played a woeful lament the third kept close to his faithful beast the fourth marched not beside the first yet like the second played a tune <laughs> Again. Four guardians, four flames, standing proud in a line. The first, to light his fire, dared not march on the end. The second, beside the first, played a woeful lament. The third kept... Wait. Something just happened. Mm, behind that wall, a movement. What do you think? No inscription, sadly. Hmm. So 
sign of the gull. If I didn't already know where she was buried, I'd guess this is Laura Doran's sepulcher. Perhaps it's a monument to her. Can't see the elves commemorating her this way. Heroine of a tragic legend to some, but... Most see her as a traitor to her race, who got her just desserts for marrying Kragenin of Laud. Perhaps the elven mage is Lara's kin. It would explain why he's helping Ciri. Possible. This what you're looking for? Uh-huh. So what's it supposed to do? Hmm. I hope I'll be able to activate it. Let's leave this place, shall we? It was worth it, right? You learned something about Ciri in the end. Something important. Do you intend to venture into Crookback Bog? You must tell me about it afterwards. Don't know that I'll get the chance. Geralt, there are two types of men. Those who see opportunity and take advantage, and those who forge the opportunities themselves. I've always seen you as an example of the latter. Besides, I've a favour to ask you. So, visit me sometime? I'll try. In that case, I shall be waiting. See ya, Kira. <laughs> <laughs> 